Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marker again. You know I had put a little list together of specific groups that I wanted this message to be for and for some strange reason that little list just disappeared. Now I gotta go from gut. But I want to say to the 99 percenters, you remember a year ago or so when you were sitting yourselves out in the streets identifying yourselves as the 99 percenters those who are against maybe the success of the one percenters let me ask you did you achieve what you set out to do and if you did what the heck did you set out to do the others black americans black people why would you want to consider the same system that we've been living under all our lives and for the most part we've been treated a lot worse than most people so our whole existence here in history is basically being down the trodden pole in that rabbit hole do we want that to continue and who would we trust to get us out would we believe that any of the parties any of the types of individuals that have called themselves leaders in the past that they would be sufficient to meet these causes i'm sure we would agree they are not sufficient but i ask you are you giving up are you throwing in the towel those of you others of you who have gone through the same atrocities those of you who are broke who can't pay your bills who are working hard from week to week just trying to make sure you can pay your rent trying to make sure that you can have some food on the table Trying to make sure that you can maybe go out and play bingo, have a little zest in your life. How's that getting you? Are you satisfied with this? Now, when we start talking about politicians, I know nobody trusts politicians. Do you trust politicians? Oh no, you just think that your politician is a little less evil than the other politician, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that kind of attitude, you deserve everything you possibly get. I have come into this world and I've committed my life to say to you this. There's victory, and there's one type of victory. And that victory comes under the auspices of the power that created you. The power that created you, created you to operate in a certain type of way. And in so doing, you would actually be able to say that you're living in paradise. That is the way of the creator. I am to remind you that the creator made you not the American Constitution, not the Founding Fathers, not whoever found Japan or whoever found China or whoever found all the other places in the world. There's one power that is responsible for an earth for you to stand on. One power that is responsible for you to have feet to stand on. One power that is responsible for you being here. And that power wants your dreams to come true. But you have been deceived, ladies and gentlemen. I've spent time and time again since I had an awakening some 35 years and I've carried forward one message the message of peace the message of prosperity and joy for all people now I can't force that on you I can do no more so I've served my purpose my life was spared to tell you this I'm not going to give in. I am not going to be as you are in this world. I am not going to follow Caesar's dictates when they take me places I know better to go. And so I'm ready to leave this world. I would love to live it with you, to share in that glorious day when all men can say, thank God Almighty. But that's not happening. And so I'm ready to Pass. I, I got little kids. I'd love to see them grow up. But that's not promised to me. And I wouldn't sell out the truth just to see them grow up. It's all in your hands now. Bye-bye.